Accessible Arts logo, Delineate logo, Don't Dis My Ability logo, New South Wales Government Family and Community Services logo, Text on Screen. Delineate is an arts program that seeks to enrich the creative initiatives of the Don't Dis My Ability campaign, run by Family and Community Services, to celebrate International Day of People with Disability. In partnership with Accessible Arts, the program is designed to boost and foster arts and disability practice within New South Wales. Title Imagine Me. The box is priceless but it's easy to see. The treasure inside is far more precious to me. Today I share this treasure with thee. It's a treasure of friendship and love you've given me. Richard Kramer. At home, when I first got my digital SLR, I had to have a switch made up for, that enabled me to take photos. I'd blow once and need to take the picture and blow again, but I was limited to what I could use at the time. Sue Murray. The objective of Imagine Me, the Imagine Me workshops, is to give people with spinal cord injury the opportunity to tell their story, to create a self-portrait and explore their imagination and to share that with people who don't know anything about it. People always see you in a wheelchair and have pity, but I want to use the symbol of a dragon, you know, that even though I might be in a wheelchair, you know, there's a mighty powerful beast riding around in my wheelchair. You know, don't feel sorry for me. I love life, I love everything in it. Simon Hodgson. I've learned that you can be creative. You can forget what you think you are. You can go out and actually find something that you didn't know you had. I was able to find out about the Cam Ranger and it enables me to hook up my digital SLR camera for a wireless device straight to my smartphone or my tablet or my iPad or whatever you have. Because the technology that's there is almost boundless now. There's almost no limits to what you can do. The vision that only you can see at the time. I could use Photoshop a little bit, but the blending and the, the cloning and, you know, turning my, my white face into a scaly face with demon eyes and, you know, it's really good fun. Leah Ogden. The thoughts that they've had, the ideas they've come up with, everybody, it's like any art, everybody sees something different. Yeah, it's been really positive. They're, they're really starting to become more creative in their thinking. All of us people who have, that have a spinal cord injury or a disability, we're all totally different. We all have different needs and different requirements that we need help with. I can't use my hands, but you put me in front of a computer with the right technology and I'm as capable as the next person. You know, I say to everybody, slow down, smell the flowers. Take time to see what's around you. And that's what the photography's gonna allow me to do. You know, take in everything around me. workshop process that we're going to use and um, and the approach that we're sort of going to take and most of the people here have um, agreed to um, come on board um, and join in some sort of way either as co-facilitating with me other workshops um, but also mentoring uh, other people who will engage in the process. I want to remove the aspects of mobility from my image and to focus on spinal cord injury and the element of that which impacts on me and my self-identity. And thanks Sue for helping me bring it out. And I joined this course because I, I really wanted to to find out about, um, about photography. And drilling down to the course, I, I managed to combine my artistic side to my, to my injury, my spinal cord injury. Uh, I didn't realise how important machine and technology was an integral part of my life. So it made me realise, you know, take stock and take account. So yeah, my, art, my piece of work here reflects uh, how um, you know, technology and machine has allowed me to, to be a stronger person, be a confident person, and, uh, and to access the world and, and be part of, re-engage with society. I can't wait to the future and see what it brings, but at the moment, um, uh, 
it's really helped me a lot. At the time of my injury, I thought my life was over. Um, I just, I didn't want to see anyone, I didn't want to get out of bed, I didn't want to do anything. But with the love of my family and friends and projects like this that um, connect people with injuries like this together, when I got here, the whole idea of creating a self-portrait was really quite scary. I'd never looked at myself or tried to look into myself like that before after the injury. Um, the process was awesome. You didn't really realise that you were looking into yourself the way you were. And at the end of it, I came up with a portrait that best described the way I felt over the entire process, not just the way I felt right now. Um, I called mine Rising. I don't think any of the people here today got here without strength and courage, using the tiger and using the feline elements represented that really well. I also wanted it to be quite fun and um, energetic, which I think it portrays. Um, it's been a great project. I think it's really worked in making us as a group think about SEI and what it means to us, how we feel about it and deal with it on a daily basis. Hi, this is Paul Isaacs and this is his portrait. His portrait is called I Don't Give a Hoot. It was actually one of the inspirations from Vincent van Gogh. Paul found this project um, through Ride Rehabilitation. Um, I've been supporting him through the, coming here with him and I've actually found it very exciting and very enduring as well and very inspirational. It's absolutely marvellous. But Paul, when he chose his portrait, it really shines through his character loves it. And what do you say about yourself? Beautiful. And to take a photo, you actually had control over all aspects of the camera, the aperture, the shutter speed, the ISO, everything could be controlled by the iPad. And that was really interesting. It sort of allowed you to understand that this could be a career opportunity for a person in a wheelchair. I chose to do an appropriation of Vermeer's A Girl with a Pearl Earring to express myself as an artist and jeweller. My passion is to actually make the jewellery, not just draw a picture of it and have somebody else make it. I wanted to show that I'm still capable and it's not just a dream, it's a reality. Using a throne, I mean a throne is also a symbol of power and strength and uh, the Game of, Game of Thrones sort of tag they have is you win or you die so um, I thought if you change it to you grin or you die it sort of encapsulated um, a lot of what you need to do uh, when you have a spinal cord injury which is yeah you just got to get on with it and hopefully find the humour in it. I think this, um, this is a really fantastic project and um, and has many layers for people. I mean, you can come along to the project just to learn a bit more about photography and your photography skills. But I also think the whole um, portrait process enables people to, um, you know, have, a, have a, a better look at themselves and how they see themselves and also how perhaps they, the world, they think the world sees them or uh, they'd like the world to see them. And so I think all of that process is just a good process both for the participants and for people who come and look at the end result and, and it creates a discussion and those things are always important and in helping um, people get a better insight and understanding into uh, people with disabilities. So yeah, I think it's, it's been a fantastic experience and I think it'd be a really good thing to be repeated and developed over the years, you know, taken to rural areas and all those sorts of things. So yeah, it's a good process.